say a monkey will type out the Bible if you leave it long enough? Well, that's pretty much me on lockdown. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It is a vlog on the Distance Diaries. Don't worry, it's not a soap opera that you've never heard of. It is just a way of life these days with everybody on what's basically house arrest. So I created a vlog for you to keep your spirits up. Part of the reason I created my channel was to inspire others. I was actually watching a video last night from a channel I subscribed to and the creator was saying that she had felt a little bit guilty about putting out content right now. And I actually feel the opposite. I feel like that's what people need. And that certainly isn't to say that what's happening right now isn't to be taken seriously. It is, but I think people need an escape. And if by posting content, that is the bright spark in their day or a way to help them just have a moment away from what's happening, then I think that's totally okay. So in this vlog, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I've been doing with myself at home, maybe give you some things to feel a little bit more motivated and inspired while you're staying at home. Don't worry, you've been spared from anything weird as far as like house cleaning or anything like that. The other day I opened my refrigerator and um, the, what are the things in the door called? I guess the shelves, alcoves, whatever you want to call them. I noticed they were dirty, so I cleaned those out, but don't worry, that stuff's not in this video. So I'm here with my husband on a quarantine date. Hi, babes. And we're out on an overlook having a nice little couple's evening instead of sitting around in the house as part of the distance diaries. So here's where we are. It's super pretty. It'll be even prettier once the sun sets, but it might be too cold to stay that long. So things you can do during stay at home stuff, you can go outside, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a hike, get some fresh air. You're still allowed to do that and it's good for you. So it's a really beautiful day out today and I'm here in this park that actually feels weird for me to be here. It's not terribly far from my house, but it is always like full to the brim with tourists, like busloads of them. And so that's one of the reasons I never come here, but since everyone's staying at home, it's actually really quiet out here. Um, it's super nice. It's such a beautiful day. I'm so happy to be out here. Yeah, there are a lot of weird bronze statues around here, like some of elderly people, children. It's just kind of creepy, but this one, they call him Warrior Rabbit. He's actually pretty cool. Did you guys know that you can make macaroni and cheese sauce? out of plant-based items. No dairy, completely vegan. Well, obviously on lockdown, I have a lot of time on my hands. And I know there are recipes for it out on the internet that need stuff like, um, what is that, nutritional yeast. Um, I don't have any nutritional yeast. So in order to get that kind of a tart taste that cheese has, I used lemon juice. What do they say? A monkey will type out the Bible if you leave it long enough. Well, that's pretty much me on lockdown. Yep, so here it is, vegan mac and cheese sauce. Throw some noodles in that, and we've got dinner. Since I've been staying at home, I've really been putting in the extra effort to make sure that I don't fall behind on my fitness routine. I was supposed to be shooting swimwear sometime in March, but that has been postponed until further notice. Uh, but that's not why I wanna make sure that I don't fall behind on my fitness routine. It's just, you know, a part of my lifestyle. And when I go to my gym, I like to mix up my workouts. That way I'm not doing the same thing every day and there's muscle confusion. So what I've been doing since I've been home is actually surfing different workouts on YouTube. And so what I'll do is first I'll do my cardio. I'll either go for a run outside, which it's been raining a lot lately. So luckily I also have a Peloton bike. So I will do one of those, a run or a Peloton, because you guys see like this area, it's too hard to like run around and do a drastic amount of cardio right here. So that's what I've been doing lately. And I will link the workouts that I am doing so that these gals get credit for all of their hard work. So yeah, take a look at what I've been doing. Yeah. 
So much harder than it looks. Really burn that bum out. And you want to make sure that when you are lifting your leg up, you're lifting it as high as possible so you can really feel that contraction of the muscle. That's it, guys. Up and down. Make sure that the knee does not rest on the floor at all. You need to make sure you're keeping the top. I have been doing this ab workout for three months straight and I still don't have a six pack. Whew, now it's time for some lunch, which I've also been eating quite a bit since I've been stuck at home. So I guess it's a good thing that I've also amped up my workout routines. I got tired of sitting around and feeling like a slob. So now I'm basically doing my hair for myself. It's amazing what a shower and some fresh hair will do for your morale. All right, now that I took all that time to curl my hair, I'm gonna run through and straighten some random pieces just a little bit, like if they're weird on the ends, like that guy right there, or if they're too curly, like there was a ringlet over here. Um, that way I don't have prom hair. And then I will spray it with some texturizing spray and call it a day. All right, then you spray it with some texturizing spray. I like to lift pieces of my hair and kind of just let them fall through the mist. That way it doesn't end up with a ton of spray in it. Now I feel almost human again. Since I've been on home lockdown, I've also been eating a lot. So what better way to spend the time than making a healthy-ish recipe? Um, I'm gonna go off the cuff on this one, so we will see how it turns out. I'm gonna make a cinnamon streusel banana zucchini, I don't know what you wanna call it, bread. Um, but it has minimal bad ingredients in it. It has some sugar, um, but it doesn't have any dairy. It doesn't contain any eggs. So, and then speaking of eggs, I'm using um, flax, flax seed eggs. And there was a terrible accident earlier. It was the great flax seed explosion of 2020. I'll insert the clip of what happened um, with the flax seeds later on in this video. But um, part of me is a little bit sad that it wasn't actually recording when the explosion happened. But flax seeds went all over me, all over my kitchen. Um, so now I'm going to make some of this bread recipe for you. Starts out with an overripe banana, which I don't even like bananas. I only ever use them to cook with. So we smash them up. So this is an easy recipe that is basically wet ingredients first and then you add in the dry ingredients. So what I just put in there was powdered flax seeds and the measurement of water. Don't worry, I will link the recipe for this in the description box that way you guys have the exact measurements um, this is something that i made up and so um, when you're baking it is kind of an exact science it's not like cooking where you're like oh a little bit of this a little bit of that and it basically works but if you're experimenting when you're baking there are two things that you have to get right so you have to get your leavening agent right so whether it's baking powder baking soda whatever it is and then you have to get your binding ingredients right. So whether it's eggs um, or the flax eggs that I'm using for this, those are the two things that you have to get right when you're baking. Um, otherwise you can experiment with other flavors and other ingredients. And the last of the wet ingredients, zucchini. Sorry, I'm not a cooking person. So there we go, you got a shot of that. Um, with my trusty flamingo spatula, put these guys in there. I like zucchini when I make breads um, because they impart a decent amount of moisture. 
that was a cooking show and somebody else would clean that up, but I have to clean it up. All right, so zucchinis are in, and then we will move on to our dry ingredients. All right, moving right along, we are gonna start adding the dry ingredients to the wet, super easy. Um, this first one is a mixture of brown sugar and then some pumpkin pie spice, super easy. And this recipe is really cool because it has limited sugar because of the banana that I put into it. And the recipe that I normally use calls for coconut sugar, but one of the other unfortunate um, side effects of being in lockdown is that there are very limited groceries. So I know it's champagne problems, we're not exactly starving to death, but there are very limited options at the store. So no coconut sugar today. So a little bit of brown sugar. I'm gonna taste it real quick and make sure that it tastes okay. That's another cool thing about using flax eggs is that they're not actual raw eggs. So I would never taste a batter that had raw eggs in it. And this way you can taste your batter before it bakes and make sure that it tastes good and that there's nothing missing if it's not sweet enough um, or whatever the case may be. And the next dry ingredients, I'm doing half almond flour and half regular flour. And the regular flour is gluten-free. And the reason I split up the two is because I find that too much almond flour makes stuff like overly dense in a bad way, like the consistency of a hockey puck, and that's not a tasty bread experience. So I split it up half and half, so. But you do what you want. That's the fun thing about baking. All right, so I'm adding the last of the dry ingredients, which is the gluten-free flour. Um, mix that in there. I never have the patience to add it in in like 10 increments like they do on professional cooking shows, so bear with me. I feel like the end result's the same. It's bread, not rocket science. So, so once that's all mixed together and has minimal lumps, it'll have some because of the zucchinis, but that's normal. Um, put it into a lined bread pan. This is the only bread pan I have because my husband gave leftovers to a friend in my other one. And even though I told him that he had to make sure that we got it back, we never did. So this is all we have. Ooh, it's messy. Make sure it's all even in there and it's not fighting with your parchment paper. and then it goes in the oven for about 40 minutes. And it does get topped with a streusel topping, which is super easy. It is just melted coconut oil and brown sugar, and I'll put that on about halfway through when this is done baking. So yeah, that's it for this makeshift zucchini, banana, streusel, I don't know what I call it, bread. Um, but yeah. So while I impatiently wait for that bread to be finished baking, I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV it's the end of the day, so I don't feel so bad about doing that. I've been trying to not spend too much time in front of the TV, just in general, but especially now that we're all supposed to be staying home, I wanna make sure that I'm using my time effectively and not just being a couch potato. But I did start watching a show on HBO that's really, really good. I think so much TV out there is just complete crap, but this is really good. Um, it's called My Brilliant Best Friend. And it's on HBO, like I said, but if you guys have time to check it out, who doesn't have time? Like, what are we all doing sitting around at home? So cook, clean, work out, watch TV. That's pretty much my routine and what I'm sharing with you guys here in this vlog. But if you have the patience for subtitles or if you speak Italian, check out My Brilliant Best Friend on HBO. It's actually a really well done TV show. All right, I think the bread is done baking, so let's get it out of the oven and see how it looks. That's it for this episode of As the Distance Diaries Turn. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and let me know what the situation is where you are and what you've been up to, the things that you've been doing. Um, that keep your spirits up or inspire you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be well. Thanks so much for watching.